Welcome to our next video. Uh, today we're going to be uh, demonstrating um, uh, our key easing iron brooches. Um, and uh, what these are, it's a set of nine uh, brooches that are of different sizes that will fit um, you know, varying sizes of uh, front rail pins. Uh, as well as uh, balance rail pins, <clears throat> but uh, what it does is it eases um, the the felt bushings that are in the keys. Uh, some, especially when uh, when you're replacing uh, the bushings with new bushings, it's good to go ahead and iron them for a uh, for a good fit. Uh, what it does is it just kind of smooths the felt, you know, irons it so that um, there's no no fuzziness to it, and so it's got a nice firm surface for the for the pin to to rest on. So um, <clears throat> basically what you're going to do is um, you're going to determine, first of all, you're going to all probably already have found out what size your, your pins are, um, uh, or if you didn't, you know, you have need to figure that out. But um, so you're, uh, the, the sizes are um, 88 thousandths, 129 thousandths. Um, this one is 134 thousandths, 136, 139, 143, 147, 150, and 162. So um, the, the the center, the front rail pins that I'm working with here with on this piano are 133 thousandths. And what you're going to do is uh, maybe start with a with a with a brooch that's a little bit smaller. Now. These brooches are designed to use with a, a soldering iron, and it's best to have a, um, a regulator on it uh, to make sure that uh, that doesn't get too hot, so you don't scorch the felt. So we've got our soldering iron station that we sell in our store, as well as um, the Weller solder, soldering iron, um, and it's got to have a quarter inch opening, which are the which are the um, soldering irons that we sell. So it's got to be able to fit. A quarter inch shank inside it so <clears throat> um, that's what this is designed for so <clears throat> what I've got here is um, I'm using the 134 thousandths I tried the 129 thousandths it didn't really do much so so you can kind of uh, try some different sizes try the smaller size first see what it does if it doesn't do enough uh, move up to the next size and um, so what you're going to do is um, you want to get to the tip so it's um, you know somewhere 150 to 200 degrees in, in um, temperature um, so what you're going to do to to measure that uh, you know you're, it's not an exact science but what to, what I usually do is take um, eyedropper or a, a hypo oiler, I should say, and uh, just put a drop of water on it. And uh, I've kind of got this adjusted um, so that uh, what you want to do is you want to get it to where it just starts to boil the water when you put the drop on there. And uh, then once you've got it to that point, you're going to turn it down just a little bit because uh, boiling temperature is a little bit too hot. So once you've got the iron set to about the right uh, temperature, you're going to just take the key, and you can do these fairly quickly, um, but you're, you're not going to insert it for very long, but you're going to put the, the iron into the bushing and just hold it there for about a second, okay, and then right away, and then you can check it again um, immediately afterwards to see what kind of a difference it made. Uh, so again, it doesn't take much time, but uh, just a little bit of an iron, Will make a make a difference, okay. And then you can test it on the key. Once you once you've determined you know the feel that you want to get, it it goes pretty quickly going through. Um, now I've so so just uh, putting it in there for a second, and then putting it right back in to check the results. Okay, if it doesn't feel like it's doing much and your key is still tight, again move up to the next next size brooch, and you can determine. Um, by trial and error, which uh, which size brooch is going to work best for you? So uh, easy easy to use tool, and um, <clears throat> these are available on our website at howardpianoindustries.com.